Hello, dear friends, and thank you for gathering today. Living in mindful expression, serving our God, and walking in spirit with our Lord, King, and Savior, Christ Jesus. So glad we could all be here together. We are at the end of the month, the Simplicities of March. <clears throat> Excuse me. So today we will be doing our affirmational reading for Positive Mindset from our Day Book of Comfort and Joy by Sarah Von Brethnoff, Simple Abundance, Moving into the Gospels, Part 4 of 4 on our 25 lesson plan on how to stay God-focused and reading your Bible. Let's go ahead and jump in. <clears throat> Gotta get a little drink of water. Jump right in to our affirmational reading for Positive Mindset, March 31st, 2021. <clears throat> Never fall for fashion, always be in style. Fashion fades. Only style remains. Coco Chanel. Women frequently want to have a mad, passionate fling with fashion, but given a choice, most of us would marry style. That's because style, like a good man, doesn't let you down. When fashion seduces you, the affair usually burns itself out before the next season. Fashion is a show-off. Concerned with the cutting edge, style has seen it all before and knows that classic tenets of simplicity, beauty, and elegance have staying power. Fashion is a cult. Style is a philosophy. Fashion mocks individuality. Style celebrates it. Never forget that fashion, while frequently a charmer, is also a self-centered, frivolous bore. Style is high-spirited and generous, given to touting your best features for all the world to see. Fashion is a provocateur. Style prefers to soothe. Fashion is self-congratulatory and style waits for the inevitable compliments. Fashion can be bought, Edna Woolman Chase observed in 1954. Style must be possessed. Fashion guesses so it can only bluff. Style knows. Fashion is impatient and eventually passes away. Style is steadfast and waits for every woman's awakening because authentic self is born of spirit. And there you have Sarah Von Knox <coughs> affirmation reading for positive mindset. There must be a squirrel in the yard. Please forget the noise. So there you have Sarah Bon Brethnox, Affirmational Room for Positive Mindset from her day book of Comfort and Joy, Simple Abundance. Now let us move into Gospel, our part four of four series in our 25 lessons. Precious Hope, Quiet. There's probably one lesson. Pretty tempting them squirrels. So... Today, as we end the month of March, we also conclude our 25 lessons in staying God-focused and reading our Bibles. Let's go ahead and jump into the Gospels. <clears throat> Lesson number 18. Seek God's will first rather than worrying about the little things. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33 says... But seek first the kingdom of God, and it is righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. When we look to God's will first in our lives before concerning ourselves with possessions of material goods or worldly securities, we prove to God in faith that we solely and fully depend on Him. He will not forget us and bless us beyond what we could have without Him. Lesson number 19, Rejoice, Pray, and Be Thankful. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18 says, 
Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. This one helps us keep our mind on God through Christ as we live out our lives. Keeps us in spirit, constantly attuned to God's will in prayer and always turning back to Him with praise and gratitude for the way He blesses us in many ways every day. Amen. This commandment is of great importance. Lesson number 20. Give God His due through your life. Mark chapter 12 verse 17 says, Jesus said to them, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. Then they marveled at him. This lesson reminds us we are made in God's image, and that truth, we should acknowledge him as our creator, and remember, we cannot have a fulfilling abundant life apart from him. Like when Jesus confronts the Pharisees about paying taxes and he turns the question into a matter of devotion to God. Amen. Lesson number 21. Give generously to God and to others. 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 7 says, Each one must give as he has decided in his heart, not reluctantly or under compulsion for God loves a cheerful giver. By giving generously we acknowledge that our treasures belong to God anyway and that we are merely stewards of his blessings and responsible to do good works that glorify him and his truths. And we do this as he commands us not ignoring it or holding lack of our gifts out of fear or selfishness. Lesson number 22. Remember, God will deliver you from your fears. Isaiah 41, chapter 41, verse 10 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God, and I will strengthen you, I will help you, and I will uphold you with my righteous hand. Throughout the Bible, God promises he will deliver us from our trials, and if we seek him, we need, we need not be afraid, and his power is almighty, and he alone is the only one who will save us from every valley we go through. He gives us the strength to overcome, the wisdom to know the right path, and leads us in the deliverance of his peace as we are devoted to his will. Lesson number 23. Remember what God desires it is your heart, not just your works. Micah chapter 6 verse 8 says, He has told you, O man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. This verse shows us, shows God, we serve him. We are repented hearts. Anything else says in our action of truth to be hollow worship that only serves ourselves. We show God we are devoted to his mindset and passion for others with justice, kindness, and humility. All signs that we are fully committed to God and we renounce anything that separates us from his love. Lesson number 24. Do not merely hold on to your beliefs, live them out. 1 John chapter 3 verse 18 says, Little children, let us not love in word or talk, but in deed and in truth. Constantly taught in the New Testament, our faith joined with our works in verbal and active testimony will show others God at work in our lives and they can be led to him as well. If our works do not truly reflect God's love and redemption in its, it is pointless. So these things should flow from our hearts and bless those around us and remain active in our attitudes, behaviors, and what rests on our lips. Knowing the truth in gospel of God's word is vital 
living out God's commands. And our last concluding lesson for our 25 lesson plan. When God calls you, be faithful to answer. Isaiah chapter 6 verse 8 says, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And whom will go for us? Then I said, Here I am. Send me. When we are saved, we walk in spirit with Christ Jesus, answering our calling in worship and serving our Creator God, yielding to His will. In the greatest love of all, we can live our lives in blessings and peace confidently, proclaiming the truth of God to those around us. It allows us to respond quickly to God and to be messengers of His Word. He purifies us for our sinful natures, from our sinful natures. This is a profound lesson, and we should come to Him in humble repentance. And there you have, my dear friends, as we gather living in mindful expression, our 25 lesson plan on how to stay God-focused, reading our Bibles, serving our God and walking in spirit with our Lord, King and Savior, Christ Jesus. Easter's almost here. The promise, the story of Jesus coming back. So it is us to walk in spirit with him, building his kingdom. So our Heavenly Father has as many of us, his loved children, to come home with him and to share his truth while we live our lives here on earth. I'm so glad we could be here together, living in mindful expression. Take care of you, take care of me. Please be good to yourself. Please be good to others. Read your Bibles. Gather in fellowship together God bless you and yours, and I'll see you tomorrow where we gather again, living in mindful expression, serving our God, walking in spirit with our Lord Christ Jesus. He loves you. I love you. I'll see you then.